we have customers call us up for engineering support and uh, one of the most common questions I get is uh, how much torque do I need for this bolt? They'll send, okay, here's a Bossard number, such and such, how much torque do I use? We never design for torque. When we're designing a joint, we, we don't design it for a certain amount of torque. We design it for a certain amount of clamp load. Uh, it was how much clamp load we need and that has to come from the customer. They do the FDA analysis and so forth and they know how much how much clamp load they need in their joint. And then they can come to me and say, hey, I have this bolt, I, I need this much clamp load, you know, what, uh, how much torque should I use to get to that? A lot of customers use torque charts. So if they're using a, an 8.8 .8 zinc plated bolt, um, you use this torque. It's just kind of a general, and that's normally a place to start, but uh, you have to be careful. Most of the times that'll work, but if it's, especially if it's a critical joint, and if there's any kind of uh, like cyclical loading or if there's high demands of load on this joint, uh, you want to take a little closer look to make sure we're getting the most out of that joint. We have an applications testing lab here. And one thing that a lot of manufacturers have done recently is specifying how much coefficient of friction there is in a certain fastener finish. If you're not doing that, it's something you should look at. We need to try to control as much as possible what that friction level of the fastener finish is. Unfortunately, um, just because the fastener has a friction range, once you put it into a joint that has other variables in it, you may go out of that range. And understanding how that works and, and what what's involved in that is a big part of where we come in. But we have the ability to actually test the joint as it is in production and measure that clamp load compared to the torque and get you the ultimate ideal work to use to get the most out of that job.